G'day, I'm Paddy. I'm from State Theatre Company Workshop and um, we're here to show you what's going on at the moment. Cool, and here we are, State Theatre Workshop. As with last year, we're going to have to convert the workshop in a performance space. So if you have a look out there now, you can see what we're dealing with. Converting any space into a theatre isn't usually a problem, except if it's the same space that you're building the theatre and of course the scenery that goes into it. So it comes very, very close to when you have to finish building the scenery and then of course you have to turn it into a theatre. And once you start turning into a theatre, you pretty well can't build any more scenery. So it's all about logistics here for us. Installing a huge lighting rig, two big banks of seating, and of course clearing out the entire workshop is ready for the performance to occur. All the doors have to be soundproof, and of course all the safety stuff for public access has to be installed as well. As with all designs, we're always presented with a set model. The configuration for this year's performance is going to be in traverse, which means seats either side of the central stage area. Designed for us this year for the show is Jeff Cobham. So in order to come up with Jeff's idea of having an end grain parquetry, we had to sort of make it as simple as possible because uh, it's a pretty big job. So what we've done is if we've laminated all these timbers together so that they are actually 200 by 200. And there they are, laminated together. Then we take them, go over to our bandsaw, cut them into 25mm thick vertical tile. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 bits of timber in that piece. Over the entire floor there'll be 16,000. Alright, so that's what we wind up with. This is our first little experiment that we tried just to see if it was okay. Fortunately, they want it to be sort of an organic look, which is perfect because we're really going to have a hard time sounding this to be perfectly flat. You can imagine this times around about, ooh, what is it? 4.2 metres by around about 10 metres long. All that way. So, that's how you go and make an ingrained park tree fall. Thank you. 